All right, chip of the day. This is a good one, chip of the day. Um, today we're going to be taking a look at a quad NAND, uh, quad NAND gate. And no, it's not the 7400. The 7400 was the very, very first one, right? 7400, the very first one they thought about doing was a NAND gate, an AND gate with a, a low true output. Um, we're going to be talking about the third part they ever built, or fourth, right? Zero, one, two, three. Anyway, is there a 7401? I don't know. I know there's twos. <laughs> um, 7403. Let's talk about 7403 because it looks exactly the same. Exactly the same. But we're going to think about this as an actual problem that we would have to do maybe back in the day. Um, let's see here what we wanted to do. Let's say that we had this, this problem that the boss gave us, okay? He says, uh, we have some sensors, A, B, C, and D, and these sensors uh, can be lower or high. And I want this truth table. I want an LED turned on when these sensors are in these states. So there's 16 states that four sensors can be in, 0, 0, 0, or low, low, low. And then uh, here we're at 0, 0, 1, 1, we're going to be on. Here we're, it's 0, 1, 1, 1, we'll be on. Here, 1, 1, 0, 0, we'll be on, 0, 1. Anyway, this is what we want to have, right? And so the engineer gets a hold of it and he says, oh, okay, I can look at that and I can actually write an equation for that. Uh, this is actually A and B or C and D, okay? So this says that if either A and B are high or C and D are high, turn the LED on. Let's see if that's true. Okay, here, C and D is high, turn it on. Uh, C and D is high, turn it on. C and D is high, turn it on. A and B is high, turn it on. A and B is high, turn it on. A and B is high, turn it on. A, it doesn't matter because it's an OR function, right? And so this is the equation that we want to accomplish, okay? A and B or C and D. This is Boolean algebra, right? All right, so let's take a look at what we might do. Okay, so here we've got some gates. So we can have some AND gates, we need AND, and we have an OR function, ORs. So we'll have A and B, is, that's what's here, okay? So the output here, this is A and B. And here we have C and D, so we have C and D. Okay, and then this is an OR gate, so we have A and B or C and D. So this would solve our problem. We could give that back to the boss. And um, he'd be okay with that, but the clever engineer would go maybe a step further. He would say, okay, well, I could build that out of NAND gates instead. I could have NAND gate, NAND gate, instead of AND gate, AND gate, right? And since these are low logic, what I really want is a low input, low input OR gate. So this would give me the right output. I would need a low true, low true OR gate. Um, and because of De Morgan's theorem, we can change all of the inputs, put circles on all of the inputs, and then change the shape of the thing. And this would come out. So you'd have NAND gate, NAND gate, NAND gate. And this would do the same function, all right? And he would, uh, so if you, you had one engineer that gave the boss this one, which would require two packages, and one that required two, only one package, because it's a quad, the engineer would be, you know, pat, pat on the back, get more money. Um, he's a better engineer, right? And then let's go one step further. And that is, we haven't really thought about this correctly, okay? Remember the boss said, turn the LED on. And this is just high true. Now, back in the day, you couldn't drive LEDs high. You had to drive them low. So each one of these would have had to require an inverter gate to drive the LED, okay? You would have had to, you would have had to have an, an inverter gate on each one of these. And then that would have screwed up your algebra and everything too. So you didn't think far enough ahead. You needed to think far enough ahead. You needed, really, this is what you needed. You needed A and B or C and D not. Okay, this is what you really needed. Um, so uh, how could you do that really, really clever? Let me show you that. This. This is pretty simple, huh? Um, now, the trick of these gates are they're open collector. Sometimes they put a star on them to denote they're open collector, okay? Which means that you can wire OR them together, okay? So we're going to have A and B, 
and that's going to uh, make the output low. We're going to have C and D, that will make the output low. And we want to turn the LED on, LED on if this is true or this is true. And we can just wire those together because the outputs of these devices are open collector. Okay, each, each one of these is open collector and these are tied to ground. Okay, and then the collectors are tied together and then they go to the LED and then the... Uh... So the OR function is performed with a piece of wire and, and because it's open collector, okay? So this is a 74, oops, <laughs> 7403. The, the zero 03 was an open collector version of the 00, 7400. So uh, yeah, we can all do it with that one simple circuit. So let's take a look at that. All right, we have it hooked up. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we have just one. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do just that much of it. Okay. I'm not gonna put just just the stop port. I'm not gonna put the uh, second NAND gate in there. So right now I have them floating. So that's a high high, and the LED is on. And if we have a low high, LED is off. And if we have a low high, LED is off. And then if we have a uh, low low, low low. I need another piece of wire for low low. Low, low, the LED is off. Okay, so this is doing it just great. But now we want to wire or the, it's called wire oaring. We want to wire or them together to a second, second device. So we will put this in here. Now we have a wired or function. Now we have all four A, B, C, D, they're all high. And so that one's high. If one of them goes low, let's say A goes low, it still stays high because C and D are high. And if I take one of the, let's make C go low. I'll make C go low and the LED turns off, okay? So we've just done, we've just done this, uh, this circuit right here, all right? And so that's how you would use these open collectors. You would use them as OR, or gates without having to actually use any electronics. It would just happen magically. Now maybe you just wanted, instead of turning an LED on, you just wanted to go to the next, uh, the next device. Let's say you had two of these, uh, two of these open collector outputs. Okay, and you just wanted to run that one into another, another device over here. Um, you need to add a resistor. Okay. So I don't say one K or something. Oops, one K, one K resistor um, plus V. So you need to have a pull up resistor here to do the OR function. Um, otherwise, they're just both open collector. It wouldn't do anything. So um, you could you could perform this OR function with just the addition of a resistor, which is a lot cheaper than the addition of an actual uh, a, a second package or second device. All right. So there you go. Uh, chip of the day was a LM, a DM actually a DM back in the days. DM digital digital some or other DM I don't know what that was 7403 or 74 LSO3 or 74 HCO3 it's a 7403